Your soul is mine. Hi everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara's Never Seen. And today, I am watching Mortal Kombat. I'm gonna be honest with you all. I feel like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat are pretty interchangeable in my mind from what I remember. All I ever did was button mash with them. I don't know, is there a story to Mortal Kombat? Like the game Mortal Kombat? Honestly, the only fighting game that I ever truly got really into is the Super Smash Brothers franchise. And I still have my copy from when I was a child. So yeah, this is the only fighting game I didn't button mash with. I played as Kirby, so basically cheating. I love video game movies. I love them so much. And part of that is loving the cheese factor. Cheese factor, what a disgusting way to describe something. All right, cheese factor is that. I'm excited. But vengeance, that's so much simpler. Why was this movie, this movie did not need to be as good as it was. The characters were well developed, better than Street Fighter. I thought that the pacing was a little slow, the sets were out of this world, and the effects were, they weren't good, I'll say that. You know what, I'll just, they're bad, they're bad. <laughs> It came out in 1995. It's a different, we gotta remember this. At the very top of this film, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat were kind of interchangeable for me film-wise. But as you get into this, the vibe of, of Mortal Kombat is so much different than Street Fighter. Street Fighter I had a ridiculous, silly, stupid blast with, mostly because of Bison. But this, while still having some cheese factor, is cool. Like, the vibe is cool. Mortal Kombat is this giant tournament of fights, and if you win 10 in a row, you get to overtake whatever planet that you want. So right now, Earth is in the balance, and so they have to win Mortal Kombat to save the Earth. And I love it, and it's silly, and it's kind of taken itself a little too seriously, but in the best way. I was like really, really on board, up until they get to this other realm where Mortal Kombat takes place, and the evil guy, who the main fight is gonna be against, he has this like reptile statue that then comes to life. And when it comes to life, he's like, yeah, go follow him and keep a lookout on her, blah, blah, blah. You're my little minion reptile statue. And it comes to life and it looks so, so bad. <laughs> like, yikes, that is some of the worst, worst effects I've ever seen in my life. And they just, they keep coming. And then my favorite character, I think, would have to be Lou. And he is, uh, ag agreeable. He's, well, I would say he's, like, he's pretty, he's very attractive, you guys. All right? That's my type. Lou and, and Shia LaBeouf from Even Stevens. <laughs> Somehow. There's a better introduction of the characters though. So you, you get to have a backstory for Lou. You get to have a backstory for Sonya. You get you have a backstory for, for, for Johnny Crunch or whatever his name is. You have a backstory for all of these characters. And there's a lot of them. There's a lot of things going on. But it's not as like ridiculously done as it is in Street Fighter. You get a sense of everyone. It's just fun to watch. The sets are cool, the locations are impressive, the lighting is like dark but still engaging and interesting. You could see things and like done in a creative way. The, the music is amazing and the effects are god, the effects are bad. So the Mortal Kombat tournament begins and Liu has the first match and he wins. And so you get the first, your soul is mine, fatality. <laughs> it's so much fun, and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. That's from the game. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I did it. Sonya wins her match, and she's such a badass. I really, really loved her character from the get-go. As it goes along, I don't love her character as much, but we'll get to that. Why, Sonya? I wrote, then Johnny Crunch, or whatever his name is, fights Scorpion. <laughs> I don't actually know if he fought Scorpion. There was like three of them. There was Scorpion, Reptile, and Sub... What's his name? He's from the game. I should know this. Sub-Zero? 
Sub Subterranean, that's a, that's a bar and a music venue in Chicago, so it's not that. Though this scene is really cool, and at first I really wasn't digging Johnny Crunch. What is his name? It's not Johnny, Ca I just wanna say Johnny Cash. Johnny Crunch, <laughs> it's not Johnny Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> but what if it was? This is the scene that really got me on his side. I loved this scene. It takes place in a huge field, and I think it's Scorpion he's fighting, and he's got the little dude that comes out of his hand and like attacks him. It's really cool. Again, the effects are garbage, but the fighting and the choreo is just so spot on. It's a really fun scene. The sets are nuts. The locations that they got. And then he destroys Scorpion in the coolest way possible. There's like lava coming out of him. Like, like lava is inside of this, this demon scorpion and then he explodes. I don't know what else you want from a film. I just don't. If that doesn't satisfy you, then I don't know what you want. Also, there's a fight scene where a groin shot leaves Goro completely immobilized for like a full minute a giant monster immobilized by like a fun little groin shot. So it's mostly quality. Those were $500 glasses, asshole. I say that every time to my purse when it claims another pair of my sunglasses, but they were $1. And I should take better care of them. As the film is going on, unfortunately, Sonya gets taken by the main bad guy and acts as our damsel in distress for the rest of the film. And it's a total bummer. She starts off as like the coolest character. In Street Fighter, there was so much badassery with women. So I wanted Sonya to be that for Mortal Kombat, but alas. So Raiden finally is like, there's nothing left I can teach you. And Lou is like, sick, then I'm gonna go fight the guy. And Raiden's like, hell yeah, do it. In so many words. Then in the end he wins and, and the souls are escaping from the bad guy. And he gets to see his little brother's soul again. It's really nice. It's a great cap on that story. And and then it's all all is well. Lol, is that a setup for a second at the end? Is there a second one? Wait, is there a second one? What? Oh my god, there's a second one? It has a three. <laughs> oh no. It has a three percent on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Honestly, I had such a good time watching this movie. It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, and I felt similarly with Street Fighter. But like I said earlier, where Street Fighter was fun and dorky and cheesy, this was... Am I crazy in saying this? It was legitimately like a good video game movie. Am I nuts? Does, is everyone... I gotta read these predictions. John Bailey, I love you! John says, best movie score slash rave party song ever. Agreed. The music in this was brilliant! Oh my god, my ultimate guilty pleasure movie! I'm so proud of you for watching this! Please wear sunglasses for the review. Ah, let's see. Predictions. Hmm. You wonder why no one seems to know what a flawless victory is, since every time they say it, it's not flawless. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> flawless victory. Every time. You won't understand why the Highlander is an Asian god, but you'll really like him anyway. Oh man, I love him in the Highlander movies. Tamara has not seen Highlander. They should be on the list for someday too. person on this pier is welding something right now. There will be a Raiden hair flip. Raiden. Liu Kang is the sexiest Asian ever. I'm just gonna say just the sexiest ever. Mm. People love Johnny Cage and his name is Johnny Cage, not Johnny Crunch. I, I grew to love him. I didn't write it top, but, but I definitely grew to love him. I don't know, a movie like this doesn't strike me as the movie that's gonna have really good character development and it totally did. And I think that's the biggest thing that I enjoyed from it is that I just got done watching Street Fighter where it had very little. <laughs> and so it's really nice to now watch this and be like, oh, they can do that. Why don't they just do that all the time? Thank you so much for watching. I had a blast with this one. And I will see you all next week. Your soul is mine.